everybody, and welcome to Bible Class. Can you open your Bibles with me to the Gospel of John chapter 9? That's our text for today, and it comes at an extremely important point in Jesus' life as we continue to explore his miracles. What do they tell us about his power? What do they reveal to us about his heart? Let me remind you where we started this entire study. What have these miracles Jesus performed been all about? We ran across a great summary from the apostles in Acts chapter 2, verse 22, where Peter preached, men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with, notice these descriptions, mighty works and wonders and signs. What were the miracles? Mighty works, wonders, and signs that God did through Jesus in your midst as you yourselves also know. But remember, in lesson one of this series, we drew special attention to this word attested. What have Jesus' miracles been all about? Attesting. All that that word means is proving by showing. That's the point of the miracles. Proving by showing who Jesus was, where he had come from, and why people ought to listen to him. Your Bible open there to John chapter 9. I need you to look actually at the very end of John chapter 8, where Jesus proclaimed in verse 58, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. And some of the Jews picked up rocks to throw at him, John tells us. Jesus hid himself and he went out of the temple. But we have had many uh, examples this quarter of how Jesus wouldn't just say incredible things like that. He would prove it by showing. So in John chapter 9, verse 1, as he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. This man had never been able to see with his eyes. Jesus' disciples ask him, Rabbi, teacher, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Now, we'll talk a little bit about that as a class, why maybe that wasn't the best question, but I want you to notice carefully Jesus' really important answer in verse 3. It was not that this man sinned or his parents. That's not why he was born blind, but that the works of God. How does the New Testament describe Jesus' miracles? Mighty works of wonders and signs. Why is this man blind? Jesus tells us that the works of God might be displayed in him. What did Jesus mean by that? We'll come back to that as a class, but for right now, just notice how Jesus goes on to spit on the ground. He makes some mud with the saliva. He anoints the man's eyes with that mud, and he tells him, I want you to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And when the man who had been born blind went and washed, he came back seeing. For the first time in his life, he can see with his eyes. Eventually, this man is brought before the Pharisees. They want to know how you've received your sight and why this was done on the Sabbath day. We've talked a lot about that with these miracles, right? Some even doubt that the man had been born blind. So they call his parents in to 
ask them some questions. And skip down to verse 22 where John tells us his parents said to these things because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had already agreed that if anyone should confess Jesus to be Christ, the, the anointed one, he was to be put out of the synagogue. And so a second time, this man who had been born blind is called on, give glory to God. We know, the Pharisees say to this man, we know this Jesus is a sinner. I want you to notice in verse 25, the man's simple reply. Whether he, whether Jesus is a sinner, I do not know. One thing I do know, that though I was blind, now I see. As he's challenged more and more by these unbelieving Pharisees, the man shows more and more clearly what he is coming to see. Not just with his eyes, but with his faith. Verse 32, never since the world began has it been heard that anyone opened the eyes of a man born blind. If this man, if this Jesus were not from God, he could do nothing. What are the miracles? They are mighty works, wonders, and signs. They were signs from God. What were they doing? They were attesting. They were proving by showing. And do you see, that's exactly what this man says. If this Jesus weren't from God, he could do nothing. And for that confession, he is cast out by the Pharisees. Before I kick it over to your teacher, notice with me how this ends in verse 35. Jesus heard that they had cast him out, and having found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? That man who had been born blind answered, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and it is he who is speaking to you. The once blind man said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. We've been noticing that a lot in recent weeks, right? People who have moved from Jesus is a great teacher to Jesus is a prophet to maybe Jesus is the prophet to Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is worthy of of worship. So let's just talk about this mighty work. What has it shown us about Jesus's authority? What has it revealed about Jesus's heart? Thanks for being in class today. Hope you have a great rest of your class and a great start to this new week.